So this is where you've been hiding. Is there any chance of you showing your face and helping me set up for the day? You know, like what I pay you to do. Sorry. Got carried away planning a possible guest list for the wedding of the year. Oh. Uh, how come I'm not on it, but that gobby cow Tracy is? Sorry, no offence. None taken. She's a gobby cow, but she's also a family, so... Of course you're invited. We're saving the best till last. Good. <laughs> Why's everybody on your side got really weird names? They're influencers. Either I follow them or they follow me, and it's not their actual names, it's their social media handles. Right. But influencers, though, I mean, that's not the same as, you know, actual friends, is it? Thank you. This is what I was saying. Do I really have to drag you two kicking and screaming into the 21st century? These are my friends now. I had actual friends in the past, but we lost touch. So if it's all right with you two, I'm gonna stick with this lot. Mm. Mm. Hey, please gotta get a pint of lager, large white wine, and two tap waters. Pacing yourself, are you? Yeah, something like that. Hey, can I ask you a question? <laughs> when you and Daisy's dad were together, did she have a lot of friends? Yeah, there were a few that used to call for her, yeah. Thick as thieves they were at that time, yeah. But then, you know, me and me and her dad split up, so I don't really know what happened after that. Any chance you remember their names? Uh, there was one girl she was close to called Samantha, and then a couple of others, Ellie and... Um, Steph. Why? Well, I'm going to try and track them down and invite them to the wedding as a surprise. Oh! That's such a lovely idea. Do you know, sometimes I don't think she deserves you. I know. That was a joke. Yeah, I know that too. Mm. You know she's mad about you, don't you? She's not going to give up without a fight. I know, but I don't think I'm ready for a relationship right now. I know more trouble than I'm worth sometimes. I look at Jenny and my Leo. Mm. I'm sorry I ever kissed her. I, I truly am. It wasn't you that drove him away. That was my fault. Hi. What can I get you? Oh, before you answer that, can I interest you in some mulled wine? We may have overdone it for the Christmas market and now it's on special offer. <laughs> well, it smells delicious, but I, I think I'll pass if it's all the same. Fair enough. How about you? Teddy, is everything all right? Yeah, I've just remembered something. About the accident. Hey, mint tea, fist full of almonds. Come on, take the weight off. New win fiancé of the year. Mm -hmm. mm, I swear, if one more punter whinges about the price of a pint, I'm... Is that my old school? Hey, thanks for spoiling the surprise. What, what are you doing on there? I've tracked down some of your old schoolmates. You know, beef up your side of the guest list. This alumni page is a godsend. What's with the face? Just some of your oldest mates in good old 3D. You, you had no right. People who knew you when you had spots and braces. Daisy, these are your oldest friends. So. I haven't played your voicemails. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. Your heart was in the right place. Always is. Jenny said that you, Samantha and Ellie were thick as thieves. We were. For a bit. And Tom died. And me, it was all over the place. Understandably. They were... dead kind at first. But it turns out their sympathy had an expiration date. You kidding? Looking back, they sort of wore me like a badge. When you're 16 and your baby brother dies, you're weirdly sort of famous, infamous. Nudges in the dinner queues, teachers who don't teach you being nice to you in the corridors. Most people mean well, they just don't know what to say. Well, it was GCSE year. Me head was wrecked and sometimes I just wanted to stay under the duvet and cry. Of course. 
Samantha. Accuse me of milking it. You're still blubbing after nine weeks, really? She's RSVP, didn't she? Oh, don't you worry about that. As soon as she'd said it, Ellie and Steph fell into line. They were always sort of scared of her. Daisy Downer. Ooh, you're the fun police, the fun free zone. What? Come break time, I would escape to the box, silently cry my eyes out, and then emerge all smiling and dancing. Got it down to a fine art, who needs feelings? They're not my people. No. And I know that you're sniffy about me socials. No, no more. No more sniffing from me. But I would rather have a few followers who build me confidence up than some fake trip down memory lane. Does that make sense? Perfect sense. So? Will you uninvite them? <clears throat> I'll do better than that. I'll tell them that I got it wrong. And that they're top of the B list, should anyone off the A list pull out. <laughs> See this. This is why I love you. Yeah, you're a little bit lofty, but... You're also a little bit twisted.